solo coiling exercise. This is a way to practice the connection of the whole body in coiling, which you would use in Tai Chi applications, including pushing hands. First, I'm going to show you the yang coil pattern and then the yin coil pattern. So we'd like to step out to a wider stance. And the yang coil pattern is like this. So we're going to coil over and push. So the palm of my hand is on the wrist and push. The fingers don't stick out. Coil and push. And the key to this is in the Tai Chi principle that the movement begins in the root, is directed by the waist, and is manifested by the hands and fingers. So we're not doing this just with hands and arms. We're doing this. The elbow is the key to the coiling action of the hand. Let's do a close-up of the young coil action in the hands. But remember, the movement starts in the root. It's not just the hands moving. So we drop the elbow, we climb over, and seal down and push. Drop the elbow, climb over, Clark the elbow, climb over. So this is like a snake coiling over a branch. See the eyes of the snake looking over the branch and then coiling over the branch. <laughs> Don't do what I call the Fosbury flop. I know that's a dated reference, but the Fosbury flop would look like this. So it's not snake coiling over the branch, it's coming up and flopping over the branch. So don't do Fosbury flop, coil like snake. The yin coiling pattern. Just like the yang pattern, the movement begins in the root, is directed by the waist, and manifested by the hands and fingers. Start off with a wide stance. And we're going to coil yin, pluck, and pull. Coiling yin, pluck, and pull. Again, the key to the hand movement is in the elbow. Remember to keep your sense of enemy when you do your Tai Chi Chuan drills. Don't look down at what your hands are doing. Look at your imaginary opponent. Now let's do a close-up of the yin coil to show you how the hands move. But again, remember that the movement starts in the root and is directed by the waist. So yin coil like so, and pluck and pull. Coiling, pluck and pull. Notice that the pluck relies on the middle and ring fingers and is like handcuffs in that it's loose. It's not a grab. Tested sometimes if you have a partner, grab them with the whole hand like this and see how much effort it takes for them to break out of that, and then use the middle and ring finger, just letting the other fingers drape, but not squeeze, and see if it doesn't feel much more difficult to break out of this grip than the whole hand grip. <laughs> now the other fingers, the uh, index and uh, pinky, you know, stick up in the air because that would invite your opponent to apply finger chin. Uh, you don't want that to happen, so you just drape them 
loosely over the opponent's arm and rely on your two inner fingers to do the plucking. Coil over, coil over, just like the snake coiling over the branch. Smooth and soothing to your opponent so that they don't feel disruption. Don't feel that you're up to something if you allow gaps and air between your hand and the opponent's hand, then the feeling will not be smooth and soothing. It will be an alarming feeling of, oh, what's going on? <laughs>